Okay, we have Ray Birmingham, Ben Woodchick, and Brian Padilla from New Mexico. Once again, Coach, we'll start with an opening statement, and then we'll open it up for questions. Um, tip my hat to Creighton. Great job by Creighton. Um, they pitched extremely well, extremely well, and made the pitches when they needed to make them. I think the world of Ed Service, he's done a great job at Creighton. He's one of the guys, the good guys in baseball to me. Uh, on another fact, I, uh, I lose a group of seniors this year that uh, have been to three regionals, have won two conference tournaments and a conference championship. And uh, they've made a big impact a program that's growing fast and getting after it. So it's kind of a hard day for me. I mean, not really, not yet, but uh, it will. I mean, we've we've accomplished a lot over the last four years for me, and especially the last three. And it just uh, means a lot to have been able to move this program forward like that in a positive step. And hopefully, guys like Ryan to my left and the underclassmen can just continue to move this program along because it's on the right track. I broke my promise. I apologize. But I promise you things are going to get better. They're going to move forward. Because I made that promise five years ago. Welcome to Gary. Uh, he was he was around the zone. He was hitting his spots, and uh, you know we hit some balls hard, but uh, things just didn't go our way today. I mean, he was definitely through well today. Like Ryan said, we, were, we hit a lot of balls hard, a lot of balls at people. It's just kind of been the thing for us this last two games. Is just I think maybe trying to do a little too much. We were hot coming in and. Guys are just I mean, trying to do a little too much with each at bat, but uh, you got to tip your hat to him. He obviously threw real well. No, it was a uh, it was an important day. We had uh, we knew how important it was, and and as Ben said, I think guys tried too hard. I think they tried to hit the three run homer when it wasn't there. And uh, I know Josh Walker was really excited today, and he was trying to make some pitches, and he didn't make it. Three run homer set the tempo right away, and we kept battling back and battling back. But then we hit a line drive right at somebody. And eventually, you know, the baseball gods are leaning one way. Coach, what was the big difference from you know, pitching wise from your team the, the last week in Las Vegas as opposed to here? So what was the big difference? You know, uh, Hera Sanchez has been going on. Uh, Fumes for the last couple of weeks and pitching his way through it. He find he found a way to do it, and so he, he just tired. He's just a tired kid. He needs some rest, and uh, he had to be the go-to guy. And and so last night I thought he did it as an admirable job as a kid that could do it with a needle touching empty. And uh, and Josh Walker today 
was in the biggest game of his high school career, and uh, he tried to throw it by a couple guys. And you don't you don't throw it by guys here with with 88 or 90. And so uh, this is his first deep Division One year. I think he had a I think he had an eye opener, but he'll be back. He'll be back and do really well. Creighton's not a bad ball coach. Creighton, Creighton always plays well late anyway. And Ed does a great job with it, especially the pitching. That's the one thing that you always can count on. Fundamental baseball and great pitching from Creighton. Great, both times you guys scored, maybe you back and a couple of runs there. Yeah. How big was that? Every time we climb back up on the top of the mountain, they kick this back down. So th that affects you emotionally, especially after a, an emotional year and a grind and a fight and 60 games, 70, 61 games, whatever. But, um, you know, uh, I always tell the kids that the, the guy who gets there, the, that gets to the top, is a team that can pitch and a team that's the hungriest. And your hunger is going to get challenged a lot. I mean, I thought I thought they were kind of different in that UCLA was more thrown off a rhythm, off the rhythm, whereas the location, whereas Creighton was kind of just trying to mix pitches to create a rhythm. But I mean, both staffs did a great job. They both got uh, deep into the game with their starters and were able to bring in their best relief pitchers on us. So anytime a team can do that, they're going to be successful, and both teams were. Any other questions? Go Lobos. All right, thank you.